Good morning, guys. Today I'm going to be planting some tomato plants. So I'm going to take you along as I do that. Okay, guys, this bed I have just got the weeds out. Um, kind of deep dug a little bit. And I'm just going to add a little blood meal, a little Epsom salt, a little lime, and a little bit of bone meal. Just a handful across the bed. Um, just to kind of give it a little jump start for the season. This is bone meal. and this is just a little bit of lime not much and then I'm going to take the rake and just rub that in a little bit All right, the first one to I'm gonna plant is a cherry, a tiger cherry Roma tomato. They climb, and I'm gonna put them on the little trellis over here. I'm gonna also show you, we're gonna try, normally I put an egg under all of them. I saw this from um, Roots and Refuge, Jess. Uh, talked about this on her videos years ago and I've done this for the last few years this year I'm just gonna try it under half this bed and not on the other half and see if there's a difference but first thing I want to show you is I'm going to break these little lower leaves off and we're gonna plant part of this most of this stem up to here in the ground so let me get my hole ready And what you do is you put your egg down and you want to just crack it a little bit. And then I'm going to put a little bit of fertilizer on around that in the bed and kind of throw a little dirt there. And then we're going to take our tomato out and see we've got good roots started. So we're going to put this down in here, and we're going to bury up to here this part of the stem. And 
and all along that stem that we just put in the ground, you're going to have new roots develop. And that's how we're going to do them. I'm going to do the other one the same way. I'm just going to leave the egg out of this one. All right, and as these grow, I'm going to tie them up to this trellis. But these are a really good little cherry tomato. Okay, I've laid them out. I've got the six up there are pink brandy wines. These three are just regular brandy wine. Tomatoes, and if you can see the difference in these leaves, they look like potato leaves on your brandy wines. And this is like your regular tomato leaves. So that's just a difference you'll see in them. So you'll know if you have one, a leaf that looks like that, it's probably a brandy wine tomato. So I'm going to plant these just like I did these two. I'm going to do the top row with out the egg and the second row of those with the egg and these i'll do with an egg also so i'll do that and then i'll bring you back And you'll see a little brown on these. That's the, the night I forgot and left the um, heater off in the greenhouse. And they got a little frost. A little burnt from the getting cold. But they'll, they'll be fine. They're going to grow on up and they'll be alright. And again, I'm burying the stem up. You just kind of lean it over gently. Put your dirt around it and cover it up. All right, guys, I'm going to finish the bed out and then I'll bring you back. I'm going to add bamboo stakes now because I don't want the roots to get established and then have to come in later. And these will just tie the tomatoes to you as they start to grow. Let me grab some more and I'll bring you right back. Okay, this is the finished bed. It's got stakes by every tomato except for these two because they're going to go up this trellis. And then around the border, I put up like 
two feet of chicken wire with just some more bamboo stakes because if you didn't know chickens like to eat tomato plants and they like to dig in fresh dirt so just to protect the garden and once the tomatoes start growing this keeps the chickens out and that's how i do my tomato plants guys okay we got the second bed done these two are blueberry cherry tomatoes they're red but they get a dark blue purple on the tops and sides of them and then these are true black brandy wines again so that's another bed planted and we'll get ready for the next one all right this is the next bed this is where i have my garlic i just pulled it out i've got a some kind of little vine and something like a squash or watermelon something going over there in the corner and then there's one of the um what i can't think what they're called okay guy on this that's finished i got four abe lincoln's here four carbon tomatoes there these are two of brad's crazy cherries and this is five amish paste i will leave this for a melon like up on the trellis and over there on the trellis i'll plant something that's going to climb so that's another bed done for tomatoes guys this is what i want to show you i'm weeding this bed and there's a volunteer tomato right here but if you look down here this is not even in the ground but can you see the little roots that have started that's why i buried that whole stem and i'll probably lean this one over and bury this too because it's got such a long stem on but he volunteered up from last summer's garden okay i planted amish paste in this bed and here are my beans and this half did not come up and so i replanted this morning but when i did a little trench again there were no beans there so i don't know what happened <laughs> i don't know if a crow or something got in here and pulled them out or squirrel i don't know but only these have come up so just to let you see that difference 